guys in this video tutorial I will explain a bit about the dip switches or we can say that these are the switches through which we can control one or multiple devices within the Tinkercad simulation software for it we need to write DIP and we got our dip switches so we will take this we will take this dip switch which has four switches on its top so why they are called as the dip switches they are called as the dip switches because on both sides they have terminals and it is called as the dual inline package dip, dip is actually an abbreviation that is dual inline what's called as the dual inline package so now we will take our LEDs okay now uh, here we have our LED okay now we will just pick four LEDs for four dip switches okay we can also change their color from like red to green and red to orange and red to blue okay now you must know that that there are two pins or terminals of this unicolor LED that is cathode and the anode first we need to join all the cathodes of the all LEDs like this one although we cannot uh, join it directly so we need to do like first these two and then like this okay sorry uh, they not this one like this okay like this okay and now we will join this cathode to this pen okay so so this will be our arrangement okay okay now we have left four anodes so we will connect with this yeah, with the second pin with the third switch and with the fourth switch okay we also need to arrange them for better visuality okay now we need to take one resistor uh, and this is the current uh, limiting resistor it also used to drop some of the voltages because maybe three volts are dangerous for some LEDs not all but some of the LEDs so okay we, we, we need to combine all these four pins to the single L, uh, the single resistor like this one okay now I will take one coin cell this battery this is I think lithium ion cell okay now we will connect it like this one okay and negative with the negative with the cathode any cathode because all are common that is all are connected with each other okay so okay now our circuit is completed now we need to run the simulation and we can see that none of the LED is on and now we can see that our LED red LED is on and but 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 their glow is very less so why it is so because we have used the 1k resistor so we just need to put 100 ohm because 100 ohm is enough 
okay now you can see that all the leds brightness is okay so with the help of these dip switches you can control the four devices like leds motors or fans or any sort of devices so hopefully now you can try this at your own so thanks for watching